All right. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Uh, this is a beast mode presentation, which this is an opportunity overview for what it is that we're doing here in technology. I can tell you, we have a very successful team and I'll go over some of those details. Um, this may be the unlike uh, any call you've seen before, which tries to show you everything and tries to, you know, give you all these different options about what you could do just to get you involved. That's not what this is. You know, this is an absolute builder's call. This is a builder's call. Our product is Forex and network marketing, right? So that means that we have two ways by which you can earn income in our opportunity. But this, this overview is going to focus mostly on the building and what it takes to win on the building side. Having said that, um, I can tell you, I have been massively successful, at least in, by my standards, right? Um, and that's me coming straight into the industry, having done 30 years in prison. I didn't know anything about the industry. I had never done network marketing. I knew nothing about Forex. I knew nothing about uh, cryptos and investing and all that other stuff. But still, what I did see was an opportunity to earn a great living. Um, I joined in on an opportunity, and within the first three months, I had 804 people on my team. And that was me, again, straight out of prison and building with strangers who I met online. I mean, right out of my mother's garage. Literally, I was in the garage making phone calls, right? Just uh, getting people involved. So I think I know what it takes. I don't know that anybody else has done it in such a sort of period of time and done it organically as I have. So when I tell you that there's a strategy to building a team for success, it's absolutely true. In fact, in my short period here in the industry, um, of just what, a year now? I joined on September 5th of 2020. So in my short time in the industry, if there's one thing that I've, I, I, I've, I do is I study patterns. And there are certain things that I see that have just created challenges for people, not in a bad way. See, it, it's sort of like, if I use analogy of kids, it's like, you know, you want to do right by your kids. You want to help your kids. You want to help every kid that you have. That's just the natural nature of it, right? But the truth is, if we're honest, when we look back at our lives, we can realize at some point, right, we may have given kids, you know, advice that wasn't so good for them, or we might have put them in situations that might not have been the best for them. So it is incumbent upon us as we mature, as we go through more to make better decisions, right? But I will say, I think that's one of the biggest struggles in this industry. It's placement. It's not recruitment. You know, I, I think that many of us have been a part of different opportunities and have given up because it wasn't working. And we never really stopped to see why it wasn't working, right? Of course, we placed blame. We pointed fingers, right? But the point of the matter is, there is a real path to success here. There really is. It really is. And it's not hard. It's fun. It's easy. And the money is life changing. So with that said, I'm going to show you some of those strategies. I'm going to give you a bit of overview. And I want you to keep in mind as I make this presentation. Network marketing, right? The network marketing side of our business. Please hear what I'm saying. Network marketing is the second highest paid profession in America. So it is not something to frown on. And it's not a side of the business that should be ignored. In fact, that goes back to the point that I was making. Many people in this industry They'll say things like people before profits, right? But what you'll find is they're building for their rank. And they're leaving these people to struggle, not because they have a bad spirit. It's just because they're not giving more thought to the place. Right? So it's having the right product. But more important than anything, on the network marketing side, you want to be on the right team. Right. And you want to make sure that you're placed in such a way that it adds to your success. Right. It's the same thing in football. Like if a coach is he has to decide who's going to play defense, who's going to play offense and then who's going to play which positions. It, 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 it may be five people on the team who feel they want to be the quarterback. But the coach has to make the decision who's going to be the best quarterback in this situation. And it's not just about who came first. Right. It really isn't because you can definitely outrank people um, 
in this industry. The people that bring you, you can definitely outrank them if you know what you're doing. So it's building for speed. So let me talk about that. Our product is Forex and network market, right? So for on the Forex side, our products, a lot of people say, well, what is it? What, what are we selling? We're selling education, if we will, right? Education. So, and, and let me just point out that a Forex education is a $72,000 education at Harvard. So it's not something to frown at. It's definitely creating millionaires and billionaires all over the globe. So it's not something to frown at. I'm not, I'm not denouncing that as if it's unimportant. I'm only saying that that's an awesome space to be in. Great money is being made. And we offer it here at Tradenology for the starting price of just $129. $129. Like compared to 70. 2000. You say, well, how does that work? Well, it's sort of like, <clears throat> you know, if you went to it and you had a gym membership, instead of you having to buy all the weights and build your own gym and, you know, having all that overhead and expense, that would be like a Harvard example, 72,000. In, in our case, you simply get a membership and you can access the tools. You can access the gym, right? Now, it's up to you. I mean, now, just because you bought a gym membership, though, doesn't mean you're going to get huff and buff and fit. I mean, you, you got to show up to the gym. You got to do your part. But our platform allows you access to the tools so that you can win by doing your part. Now, that's the product side of our company. And I won't go off into that too much. I won't. I'm going to talk about the building side. The building side is very simple. It's really a no brainer, you know, and, and I've gotten to the point where I say, I, this is the part which makes me feel like I'm the modern day Harriet Tubman. In that, you know, having to do 30 years in prison, being a first generation gangbanger, first generation drug dealer, and, um, you know, having done, so when I was 50 years old, I got out of prison, man, and I had been in prison all except for 14 months and six days since I was 12 years old. Well, as you can imagine, I've, I've traveled some, some dark roads. And now here it is. I mean, I'm, I'm currently earning $25,000 a month. I mean, so it's really been uh, a dream come true. It's been a, a journey which has really changed my life. So when I say I've like the modern day Harry Tubman, I, that's the team building side. It's showing others, right, how to also be successful in this space. It's helping others to sit beside you instead of sitting beneath you. And so what does it take? What does it take? Well, I'm going to tell you a very simple scenario. You don't have to learn the skill set to be successful. That's one roadblock I will say that many people have. It's they feel they have to learn it all before people believe them. Well, if you have to learn it all before people believe you, that says more about your character and the relationships you've had with those people more than it says about the product. Right. Because it is a new world. It is a new day. People are looking for an opportunity. They want the opportunity to not have to go to work. They can sit and work from home and live the life they dream of. So if, if, if they have a challenge, it's probably because they have a challenge with you. Having said that, your goal is when you sign up and pay the 129, you want to find three people to do the same. Now, these aren't just three people. That's another thing I see people make a mistake. I'm going to put my son, my daughter and my cat on there like that's not the way to build. I mean, unless you're building those accounts out just to have extra accounts, which we call, you know, digital real estate or multiple account strategy. And if you're doing it for that reason, then you really got the wrong, you got the wrong idea. If you're going to try to build out your downline plus your son's downline and try to get both of you guys to winning, yikes. I call that an emotional build. That's selfish. Right. And it's going to lead to a lot more challenges down the road. That's a huge mistake that people make in this industry. Uh, the key is once you bring three, you want to help them to find their three and so forth and so on. You say, well, Wesley, that sounds like a pyramid. Right. I, I remember when I first joined, uh, I'm, I am still on supervision and my PO was like, you know, you be careful. That, that sounds like a pyramid. You can go back to prison. My mother was like, oh, my God, that's a pyramid. You know, you're going to get in trouble. I mean, we got to get past those road, mental roadblocks, right? Pyramid, and people don't even know what a pyramid scam is for the most part. It's crazy, the stuff that they think. But it's, it's like, 
it, it, you got it's like the boogeyman. We just know he's out there somewhere and he's killing little people. You know, <laughs> not true. It just it's not true, guys. It's not. Never seen a rabbit lay an egg. But <laughs> it's crazy what we think. The point is, we have to get past that point because if network marketing is the second highest paid profession, then why aren't we looking at it? Why aren't we paying attention to it? Why are we so afraid of it? Like it doesn't come through the computer and bite you. It's like, it's, it's really not one of those deals. But by building with speed and building as a team, what happens is you all can begin to earn money from the company, not from each other. You're not earning money from each other. You're earning money from the company. There are no losers, right? Because there are no stalled situations. The question is, what are you doing to expand your business? It's the same model in, in, in essence, you know, when we seen product-based models, like when we were coming up, you know, there was these big product-based companies. And so we felt comforted because we had $5,000 worth of product in our garage. And then we had to go find distributors to help us sell it. Right. Well, in our case, in, in, in our case, we don't have product that we have to store and we have to buy and then have to go resell for a purchase. We don't. Our product is education. And I, I, I know, I mean, I think it's fair to say that product has value. I mean, education has value, right? I mean, bottom line, I mean, uh, Harvard charges you for education. <laughs> Every university in the country charges you for education. And we realize that the education we pay for tends to open more doors. So there's a value to education, right? That's all we're doing here. But when you come in and you pay $129 and you find three go-getters, what you're looking for are not just three people who says, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it, girl. That's not what you're looking for. Promise you. Quit signing everybody. That's another problem. Everybody wants to sign up everybody. Quit signing everybody up. Quit. Stop it. Don't do it. I'm telling you, you're going to find yourself in over your head and stressed out just by trying to sign up any and everybody that agree. This is not the place to bring your grandma, sister's cousin because she thinks you got a cute dimple. This ain't that. That's not what you're looking for. What you are looking for are three people in your life. Like, and I'm going to dumb it down. I'll make it simple. If I told you right now, there was, let's say, $4,000 cash buried in your backyard. Like, it's there. It's absolutely there. But it's going to take some work to get it out. And you can only call three people. Well, you can call people as many people as you want. But you got 24 hours to dig that, that cash up. And then when you dig that cash up, you guys all get to split it. Who would be the people you call? But you can't use a shovel, right? You can't call it. You can't go get a backhoe. It's just you and the earth. You got to dig it up by your hand. But understand that when you do, your life will begin to change. Who's going to rock with you? Yeah, people might not believe me. That's more about your relationship. We go back to there, right? Because I can tell you straight up. You find the right people, you know, like, for instance, in this opportunity, it took me two weeks. At first, the first two weeks, I wanted nothing to do with it. I didn't. I didn't tune in, didn't pay attention to it. But two weeks after I did start to pay attention, I was actually earning $250 a week. I didn't get rich overnight, right? I didn't. It, it wasn't just, oh, my God, I'm on top of the world. But I started making an extra $250 a week. And I said to myself, you know what? This is kind of cool. That's $1,000 a month, $12,000 a year. I mean, like, would you invest 130 bucks in order to make $12,000 in a year? Would that be a reasonable investment? Yeah. See, when we start there, we can see its value. I can tell you, the, and I'm, I'm going to go backwards one, you know, is that, um, the first rank in this company is just five hundred dollars a month. You begin to make one twenty five a week, five hundred dollars a month. Yeah, that ain't no money, Wesley. Okay, tell that to them people when they call you for your card note. <laughs> Do you tell them that ain't no money? Yeah, ah, that ain't no money. I'm not paying y'all this month, <laughs> right? It's nice to be able to say, you know what, my one time investment, right, 
because it does take a subscription, but it's, it's so you pay it monthly, but it starts to come out of profit. But that one time investment leads to the fact that you're making five dollars a month. That's a car note. That's one less bill. Right. Second level it took me two weeks to get there. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys the screenshot just so you guys have a visual of what I'm saying as I'm sharing, because it's really not that hard. It's really not. But let me pull it up real quick. And then we're almost out of here. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time because either people want it or they don't. And I'm not here to sell it. I'm here to invite. Really. I'll show you how to do it. Then it's on you. I will be talking about the car bonus. This is a brand new BMW. I bought about, I don't know, about three weeks ago, four more weeks ago. There's also this fast start bonus you'll be hearing about. Uh, and it's up to November 12th. So we still got five days on that. Anybody that makes that first rank is going to make an extra 250 bucks. I mean, that's your money plus some. I mean, like, I don't understand. There are seven ways that we get paid in the company. I'm not going to read them all. I'm not, right? If you're the kind of person needs all the information, then whoever invited to the call can definitely get you an image of this. I'm sticking strictly to the meat and potatoes. What does it cost and what do I got to do to win? Strictly. Now, this is our holy grail. Can you guys see my screen? Somebody? Yeah, we can see Somebody. it. We can see it. Yes, yes. Right, cool. yes we can see it. Okay, so this is our holy grail. But again, I'm going to tell you, don't worry about trying to understand all of this stuff. I'm not going to break all of this stuff down right now. Don't overwhelm yourself. Look at this as your first day on the job, right? You're not, I don't have, you don't have to read the whole 401k pack on your first day. You're just trying to figure out what does it cost and what do I got to do so I start making money. Once you start making money from this opportunity, the rest of this stuff just makes sense. I'm telling you, that, that, that was the key for me, all right? I started making money. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, now I get it, right? Like Betty Wright. But I'm just saying, when you join, you pay 129 You find those three people that's going to rock with you, those business buddies, right, that just say, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. That's it. Now, this first rank, if you did, if you stopped right there, which I never say you do, but the company will give you $100 a month to help offset your $129 a month subscription. But that's never a goal. Never, ever should this be a goal. I don't even teach this because you teach this and that's where people will stop. That's never a goal, right? Your goal in this, we have what was called two lanes of business or two legs or whatever you choose to call it. This embodies having six people on the left side, six people on the right. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean you got to find all six people? No, you do have to use your link to bring in three people, right? But now they duplicate. So they each got to get their three and you're helping. So if you got to happen to have a fourth person, you help and build up under somebody else. You helping them to do what you did so that you all start making money together, right? So you get six and six. I mean, like, literally, we're going to do another Zoom call tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Literally, you can get your people on the call tonight, get them all signed up. You make that, you, you hit that rank tonight. It is not hard to do. Not hard. I mean, it really is. You know, the thing is being coachable and teachable. It's sort of like when, you, when you're walking your son and he first time he's walking off a curb, you say, put your foot down, step, take a step, follow the sample line of instruction. I'm telling you, be coachable and teachable. The rest is easy, 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 peasy. But six and six gets you one twenty five a week, five hundred dollars a month. Right. Six thousand dollars a year. Is it worth it? Would you pay one hundred and thirty bucks? For an opportunity that pays you six thousand dollars a year, nah, sounds pretty good to me, right? I remember when I got it took me two weeks, like I said, and I got here. I was, and this is sixteen and sixteen. That's everybody beneath you doing their part. But I was making two fifty a week, a thousand dollars a month. Okay, and I thought about it. I had a, my my card note was five hundred and forty seven dollars, and I'm thinking, wow. This turned into a cool investment. Like that's my car note plus a couple of bills every month. It's covered. So then the next rank took me three more weeks. And I hit this rank. That this is a total of 40 and 40. That's everybody doing their stuff, right? And um we can't see the chart. I thought you said you can see it. So that um, I see the chart. Maybe turn your phone to the side. 
So with 40 and 40, I was now making $500 a week, right? $2,000 a month, $24,000 a year. And, 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 and let's just be honest, that is a minimum income job, right? Some people, that's what they're making for a living. In fact, prior to the pandemic, I was working in Hertz. And I was driving an hour and a half to work and an hour and a half home in traffic. You know how it goes. I was that guy getting up at, you know, 4.30 in the crack of dawn in the morning, running across town so I can be in working time. You know, that was me. And my take-home pay after taxes was about $480-something dollars a week. So here it was. I was, you know, laid off during the pandemic, and I'm in my garage making phone calls to strangers. And now I'm making five dollars a week, twenty. Four thousand dollars a year, right? It definitely had my attention at that point, and it was when when I joined, it was me and two other people, right? And when we joined, none, neither one of us knew what we were doing. We had never done it before. We didn't have anybody coaching us. We didn't have anybody teaching us. We didn't have anybody answering a bunch of questions. But it was just us. We looked in our back office. We saw this comp plan and say, "Hey, man, we can do this," and that's what we did. We started building for each other like literally building for each other and building for our downline building so that everybody just started making money and the thing exploded it just exploded so in three months time we were just about two and a half months all three of us hit this rank together each of us had 250 people in our business each of us was making 1250 dollars a week five thousand dollars a month sixty thousand dollars a year Within three months, it took some effort. I said, I used to always say it was like pushing up one of them old stick shifts, right? It, it, it takes a little push at first, then you kick it in gear and it just takes off. That's what happened. Our business just exploded. In four months' time, on January 9th, 2021, is when I first hit this rank. It was the first time I hit the 10K rank, right? And that's having 500 people in your business. Remember, that's helping all the people beneath you and, and everybody doing their part and, and helping all these people make ranks. That means there's people beneath me that were all making these ranks. So it, helping each other is what got me there. So it's not just me. Let me be honest. There is no way Wesley knew 800 and some people. Didn't. Did not. Right. It was the people who, who came in with me and rocking with them. It, it, it helped to hold me up. I mean, really. But I was making $2,500 a week, $10,000 a month, you know, and, and, and I always tell people it, it was a very emotional moment for me. You know, I really I, I, the moment it happened, January 9th, 2021, uh, I, I literally I poured myself a glass of Jack Daniels. I lit myself a cigar and, and I sat in front of my computer and I cried. And I mean, I mean, I had a heavy cry, you know, and when my girl asked me, she said, babe, what's wrong? I'm just I said, man, our lives just changed. But you know what was in my mind right then is I had just done 30 years in prison. 30 years of my life was gone. You know, and it was for money. I mean, I so when I paroled, it was because of I had a bank robbery, kidnapped, Tittleboro on police. You know, my life was a story of, you know. Bunch of different drug cases, and you know, I've done burglaries, and I'm that guy that was out in the streets, you know what I mean? But also looking for a pathway out. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, I got a, I got one of my partners, you know, who who's who's I got plenty of my partners that are doing life for monetary crime. I got a partner on death row right now. You know, he he went in to go rob a drug spot for money, but it don't always go the way you hope. And so, you know, there was murders involved. Now he's waiting to die. I thought about the many women that I had known, you know, the sacrifices of their bodies and what they go through in life, all for money. And I'm thinking to myself, man, nobody ever told me I could be living a white collar lifestyle, $120,000 a year from simply making phone calls. That's what was on my mind in that moment, you know. Uh, and, it, and, and, and it's still, every time I think about it, you know, I, I just, I want to do all I can to help people to guide people out, to show them what I wish somebody had shown me because I, I don't make excuses for what I did. I was definitely guilty and I probably should have gotten more time than I did. But at the end of the day, you know, I just, I wonder what my life would have been had I known about these options. And that's why it's on my heart to share it, right? So my team and I have been through five companies in the last year. 
Some people say, oh, my God, five companies. What's wrong? What's wrong? It's not a what's wrong. It, because the truth is, the value of your team, the strength of your team is what makes you strong, right? It, it, and so we've always had each other. Have we had some struggles? Have we had people give up? Absolutely. I can tell you that when we finally joined here with Tradenology on August 18th of 2021, that it was like 46 of us that joined. We had lost hundreds. We had lost thousands of people. At one time, our organization had been like 2,300 strong. But because of the travels, we lost a lot of people. People just, you know, they lost faith, you know, whatever. But when we found Trade Knowledge and we took a look at this comp plan and we started making phone calls, people were reignited. They saw the vision. And in just five days, five days of joining this company, we had reestablished the organization of 500 people. And I was right back at 10K. Right. In 13 days of joining with this company. I hit my highest rank ever. I had 20, I had 500 or a thousand people in my organization and I was at 25 K. I'm currently at the rank of 20 of 25 K. So that means my weekly paycheck is $6,250. Literally the company pays me every Friday. I get $6,250. Actually I get more because as you see here, there's the car allowance. So the car allowance means that the company gives me an extra $750 a week for any car of my choice. So I went out and bought a BMW three weeks ago. That's the blue BMW you see me in the picture with the bow on it. I asked him to go get the bow. And I wanted the world to know it was a gift, right? <laughs> but yeah. And then these bigger numbers. What happens here? If these are ranked advancement bonus. So when you hit the big numbers, when you hit 10K, the company, the, sec the first month you'll get 10K. The second month, the company gives you an extra 10,000 just as an attaboy, right? Now, when you hit 25K, they do the same thing. They give you another 25,000. The first one is stretched out over four payments. And then the second one is stretched out over, I think it's six payments right now. But either way, it's thousands of dollars extra going into your account. Like for real, every week. Like I think they paid me like 9,000 and something this week. You know, you know what I mean? It, it just goes up and up. The money's real. The opportunity is great. And together, we just change lives. And because I've hit both ranks within 13 days, you know, I can tell you, the company is paying me both bonuses. They're not saying, okay, well, since you, you did both so quick, then you missed one, you skipped that rank. No, they're not saying you skipped that rank, right? They're saying, hey, you did it. Here, we're going to give you 35000 more. How did you get there? I, I like to tell a story of a woman who joined it on this opportunity over a year ago or about a year ago. And what she did, she made it simple. She made it simple. She said, look, I'm going to pay for myself plus three people. When they asked her what it was about, she said, it's about money, right? Just simply do what I show you to do. And when you start making money, you give me my money back. Right? She says, all I'm asking you to do is you sign up and then you pay for three people under you and tell them to do the same thing. And when they make their money, you pay it back. Paying it forward, helping people is the purest form of group economics. We can yell Black Lives Matter. We can talk about, you know, what it meant to be a, a part of uh, 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 Black Wall Street. We can talk about the power of unity and the power of numbers. Right. But the truth of the matter is group economics is simple. It's everybody pulling in on one opportunity and allowing that money to enrich the whole community. This is all it was. And in three days, three days, she had an organization of 250 people. She was making $5,000 a month. In three days, she did that. It's a no-brainer. It is really a no-brainer. 1250 weeks she was making. But by now, of course, now everybody understood what was happening. Now you're logging in your back office and you're seeing all this money. So they just kept going. They were charged in a week. One week time, she doubled her organization. She had 500 people. She was making $10,000 a month, $2,500 a week. Come on, man. It's that simple. They killed the game. They're making plenty of money. They rocked it out, right? Too, too often people want to 
overstand, understand, confuse the stand. This stuff is not rocket science. It's just people, simple people working with people to help people. And together changing people's lives. Right? So that's pretty much all we got. I won't waste a whole lot of time going down dark roads and that sort of thing. But if there are any questions, I will address those. And then, you know, I'm going to tell you guys all, if it's for you, please just simply say, I mean, I can tell you whoever invited you to this call is waiting for your response. They're excited and they're waiting to hear what you think because they believe that you may be that two or three persons that's going to help them dig up that gold in the backyard. So give them the courtesy, right, of saying I'm in or I'm out. At least do that much. And if it's not for you, please. Now, this is my personal request. Think about the people in your life. Those people who could use the extra $500 a week, especially those people who have made challenging decisions for money. Those people living on the margins of life. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe, you know, it's just you, whatever. You got too much going on or you don't get it. That's fine. But at least send that link and have that conversation with those other persons in your life who might need this help. We are really trying to help each other and really trying to help change lives. And if it's not for you, pass it on to somebody else, right? It's kind of like anything else. Maybe you bought a hamburger and you're just not hungry. Give it to somebody else who is. Don't throw it away. All right. So with that said, please get back with the person who invited you to the call. Let them know whether you're in or out. Give them the courtesy of a response, right? And again, we'll be back on tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern, right? Uh, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Remember, when everybody does a little, no one has to do a lot, but we all have to do our part, and together we win. All right? Well, any questions before we wrap this up? I have a question. Uh, okay, what you got? Hi, my name is Crystal. Hi, Chris. Um, I am new. I have currently um, just, I only have a handful of people on both sides. <laughs> and I wanted to know for me personally, like I know you talked about finding these go-getters. For me, I'm I'm great at customer service. I've always had a customer service type job, so I don't, I don't mind talking on the phone. It's just, I don't know where to find these people. I am a single mom. I don't leave the house much. Um, my social media is mostly... Um, active, but I don't really know how to use it to to get people like to to get people in to get people interested. So I'm just curious from you, how did you did you post ads on social media, or how exactly did you use your strategy? Well, one of the things that I did is I used what I call my no brainer strategy, right? And that's a good question. First of all, Crystal, so it's a good question. I used what I call my no brainer strategy, sort of like the example that I gave just now. It's, it's a no-brainer when somebody else is putting their money up. What you will find, especially like on, on Telegram apps like that, where people are in, involved in investment opportunities, people are looking for a way to make money. But their biggest fear is, oh, my God, it could be a scam. Oh, my God, I may take a loss. That's their fear. So I use what I call a no-brainer strategy. Part of my story was the fact that I had saved up $18,000, right, uh, doing DoorDash and delivering groceries, whatever. And when I saw the value in this opportunity, I pulled my little 18,000 out and I said, I'm going to go find, because I didn't know people. Remember, I've been going for eight, 30 years. I'm going to go find out here and I'm going to find people who do have circles of influence. And I'm simply going to give me, put my money up to show them the money. And, and what do I mean by that? I would do different things. Like I might go half, or I might say, for instance, I might give a guy $3,000. Right. Like, look, dude, you got the people. I can show you how we can all win. Right. So use your influence. Use my money. I'm going to give you three thousand dollars. You bring in your first you know, 30 guys. Right. Let's get everybody started. And once the money starts coming in, all I ask you to do is duplicate. Pay it forward. All of you guys work together to help each other get into this opportunity, because the more you guys do together, we all win. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, one of the keys to my success is what I said in the presentation. It was placing. See, if you noticed, I said that I had 804 people in my organization within three months. But it took me two and a half months to get to the status of earning 5K. 
to be at 5K, I only needed 250 people. And people used to ask me, Wesley, you should have been at 5K. Why are you have 800 people and you're, you're just now hitting 5K? People didn't understand that. And I told him, I said, well, that's one of the, for me, it's more important to help the teams, to help the new people. So that meant that I had a massive growth where I didn't need it. You were sacrificing your people to help your other people. Well, my thing was, like, whenever I brought somebody in, I used to spend average 15, 20, 30 minutes to kind of get to know, know that person, what they brought, what their real interests were, not just, you want to build, trade, or vote. I mean, it, I would really talk to that person, you know, what their schedule looked like, what they hope to get out of the opportunity. And from that, as I'm talking to the person, it's sort of like we do in high school, I'm thinking of who I can hook this person up with. And I'm thinking, oh, you know what, this person will do good with that team. Or you know what, oh, she'll get along great with him. Oh, she wants to focus more on the trading. Okay, let me put her over here because she'll do great with that team. You see what I'm saying? And so I have to be honest. It, it was like uh, uh, on my, uh, my the leg where I didn't need them tended to be the, and then another thing when I I found different challenges that I learned from in the beginning is that when I brought a person in who was charged up excited willing to do their part and da, 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 when I placed them somewhere where that person for instance was not as engaged that negative weight would draw down the excited person. So for a long time, I end up putting everybody into one side of my my organization only because that's where all the excitement was. And I was too afraid to take a new person who had all this excitement and go place them in some desperate struggling situation just because that's where I needed it. You, you follow what I'm saying? I just figured that as long as I can keep this thing growing like crazy over here, they're all having fun, they're all having money, then I can figure out my own situations later. So th th those were very key uh, strategies. And so, and that's what I do right now today. I don't build simply for my rank. I, I don't, you know, and, and, and it's hard sometimes because you want to, you, you really want to, you right. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like, man, if I put that 40, 50 people over here, I can be at that rank being like, man, but that's not going to be good for that team. So which one do you do? You put them, what's going to be best for them, where they're going to be more engaged, where they're going to win. And then, Ultimately, you, you will get your blessing in return. Hope that helps. It does. Thank you so much. And, and I'll tell you, it, it starts at the very first placement. Right? And I always say to my teams this. If you just join on this opportunity and you bring in uh, uh, Jennifer, you and Jennifer are rocking it out. You both are trying. You can't figure it out, but you're both putting in the work. But then you finally get another guy, you know, Freddie. Freddie decides to sign up. Where do you place? Now, we have a two-leg comp plan. We have the left right side and the right side. Very easy comp plan. But you got Jennifer. Y'all been rocking it out. It's been three weeks or so. You finally got Freddie. Oh, man, Freddie wants to join us, right? Where did you place Freddie? It starts right there. Because for me, Without other factors, Freddie goes under Jennifer. Why would I place Freddie under Jennifer? Oh, my God. I still need people on my other leg. Remember, Jennifer's been rocking with you. You said you guys were on the same team, on the same journey. Yeah, it's your recruit. You have to use your link three times anyway. That means you have to use your link to place under one of your second persons, right? Or one of your first persons. You're going to have to anyway. So why not do that first? Because that's going to encourage Jennifer like, oh, my God, I'm so glad you're helping me out. Thank you. And now when you get on a Zoom call with, T with, with, with Jen Jennifer and Freddie, you do have a team. All three of you guys on the same page. But if you put Freddie on your other leg and you and Jennifer have already been struggling over here, now you're over here trying to help Freddie, too. Now you've got two different kids in two different households. Your attention is divided. Jennifer starts to feel overwhelmed and ignored because now you're spending more time with Freddie, right? And let's say Freddie turns out to be a beast. Now he brings 20 people. Now you're happy. You and Freddie didn't hit it off. What about Jennifer? Ain't that the one you said you was going to rock it out with? See how that first placement can be so important. 
if you really want Jennifer to be plugged in and to feel like you got her back and that you guys are doing this together, why not help her first? Place that person using your link right up under Jennifer. And Jennifer says, wow, this is cool. We do have a partnership. Actions matter more than words. All right, guys. Any other questions before we wrap this up? Think about the placements. The placements is what makes the difference. The placements is what makes the difference, right? And a lot of times people don't understand that either. They want to be first. They want to give priority. They don't even understand what that challenge brings. Like everybody, I want a power leg. People don't understand what a power leg is or what it means. A power leg means that you're a leader and that you're going to rock it out. You don't really want to be there unless you're ready to really dig in because nobody helps you after that. You're pretty much on your own once you get that power leg. Think, let's think more about the people we bring and help to place them for their success and the rest comes easy. Trust me. All right. All right, guys. Anything else? We're going to wrap it up. All right. Well, thank you guys for jumping on the call. Appreciate you guys taking a look at the information. And if, the, and if the, um, like I said, if it's not for you, please share this opportunity with others. Let's help change each other's lives. You know what I mean? Let's do more. And trust me when I tell you, we are a Super Bowl winning squad. We are not a struggling team. We are definitely on the path to success and we're moving fast, right? So we're looking for the right people to join. And we, we're not looking for people just to spend their money and then have a bad story to tell. Let's work together. Let's change lives. And with that said, I'll see you guys again tonight. All right. You guys have a good one. Thanks for joining. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. See you later. Yes, ma'am.